Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to wire a combination gas valve. And we're going to go ahead and light the pilot, and we're going to go ahead and get the flame running. But we first need to know how to wire it, and I'm going to go ahead and take you up for a closer image of these tabs right here. So the first thing that needs to happen is this thermocouple has to be hot, sending millivolts to the first solenoid. The solenoid for the thermocouple is located right under here. And this knob, we're actually pushing it down in order to push this part down. And once you have DC millivolts from here sent over to the solenoid, it's going to hold the gas in the open position. That means that the gas is now coming in and waiting right behind this solenoid waiting for the call for heat from the thermostat, a 24 volt uh, signal, and then it's going to go ahead and let the gas come out the front. So coming from your thermostat, you'll be coming here first with your hot on the TH. So this tab right here is connected to this wire. You have a call for heat, you have 24 volts on the TH, it comes over to the solenoid, and then it comes out of the solenoid over here onto the TR. And then this tab you'll have connected over to the common side of the transformer. So TH is hot, TR is common, and this, the THTR, is just an empty junction area. You might have a 24 volt hot coming in here and then coming out of here, going to a thermostat or a safety control, and then coming over to the TH. But it's just an empty junction. It's not connected to anything. It's just a place for you to uh, gather the wires at and connect them. That area in some manufacturer literature is called the common area, but once again, it's not connected. So this is the common wiring setup for a combination gas valve. I'm going to show you one more after this that's going to use our common TH slash TR terminal. So you have your high voltage 120 volts coming into your 24 volt transformer, and then your high voltage coming back out through the common. Then you have your 24 volts coming out of the red wire of the transformer and heading over to your high heat limit switch. So this is a safety device. Then it comes out, the 24 volts comes over to the thermostat, and then on a call for heat, you're going to have 24 volts coming out of the thermostat and heading over to the TH on the combination gas valve. It's then going to go through this wire over to the solenoid. It's going to power the solenoid and come back through over to the TR, and that's connected to the common going back over to the transformer. So once your pilot is lit and you had this knob on the on, when you send voltage to here and then you have your common coming back out, that's going to allow your gas valve to fire. So I'm going to show you one more wiring setup using your common terminal and then we're going to go ahead and light the pilot and then uh, power the gas valve. So here's our second setup. We have our 24 volt wire coming out of the 24 volt transformer over to the THTR and then it's junctioned over to this wire which goes over to the high heat limit switch. 24 volt hot comes into the thermostat and then on a call for heat 24 volts comes back out over to the TH and it then follows the black wire over to the solenoid, powers the solenoid and comes back through the common which then goes to the common side of the transformer. So all this is is just a, a junction spot. If you noticed before, all we did is we took this wire and this wire was connected right over to here. So sometimes you'll find that. Now let's go ahead and light our pilot and then we're going to go ahead and power our combination gas valve. We're going to go ahead and light the pilot. You see that the pilot is lined up with the diamond right here. We're going to press that down and we're going to go ahead and light it. Once we hold this button down for maybe 30 seconds to a minute, the thermocouple will be heated up enough to send the millivolts over to the solenoid inside the gas valve, and we will no longer have to hold this anymore. So then we're going to go ahead and turn it to the on position, and then anytime our thermostat calls, we're going to end up sending 24 volts right over to TH and coming out of TR. So let's go ahead and turn on our thermostat, and now we have our flame go ahead and turn our thermostat back off again and we just have our pilot. Now I want to show you what happens when we have this knob in the pilot position and we do send voltage over to the solenoid. So we have voltage going from TH to TR when we turn our thermostat on like that. We're going to go ahead and read it with a multimeter from TH to TR and you see that we have 26 volts. But our gas valve is not allowing the gas through unless we have our knob turned to the on position. And now I just turned the thermostat off again. 
If you're looking for the service tools I use out in the field, I have them all linked down in the description below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.